Lennox Lewis versus Hassim Ratman. Anyone that knows me knows Lennox Lewis is, is one of my favorite fighters of all time. Just because of the way he conducts himself when it comes to his training, his fundamentals. Um, you know, he, like, like the jab, which is the punch I'm, I'm obsessed with the most. Um, and I like how ruthless he is that even though behind the, he's breaking people down behind those fundamentals, when it's time to take someone out, he takes them out. I just want to talk you through that even though you could be at the top of your game, be one of the best, which Lennox Lewis was undisputed world champion. He beat every man he faced. He lost two, but he beat them in rematches. So he beat every man he faced. But I just want, yeah, I'm just talk, talking about even at the top of your game, you can make mistakes. And it could be the smallest of details where you make the mistakes, where you lose focus or you do the wrong thing. So I just want to talk about Lennox Lewis versus Hassim Ratman. They had two fights. This is the first one where Hassim Ratman knocked out Lennox Lewis with one shot. All right, so I just want to play this here. And we're going to play it in real time and see if you can notice the mistake before I start talking. Lennox Lewis is actually in control of this uh, fight, round five. But watch what happens. He goes back in a straight line there. Now look, bang. Out cold. So let's take that back and see if you can see it again. There it is again. I'm going to take it back again. Here it is. Bang. All right. So here comes the mistake. So let me stop it here. Right here, he's Lennox Lewis is actually doing the right thing. When you're on the ropes, I don't think it's a very good idea unless you've got a kind of style like Floyd Mayweather that likes to sit in this position here and he's a defensive master and he invites shots to come to him because he's going to make a miss with the, sh with the shoulder roll, with catching, with slipping and then he's going to counter them. But Lennox Lewis is not that type of fighter. He's tall, you know, he's behind the jab, the fundamentals, the it, things that are done uh, more simple. So Lennox Lewis actually starts off really good here with a high guard. So in this particular instance, I prefer that if someone's throwing punches at you on the ropes like this, just keep the high guard until they're finished, you know? He, actually, even though Floyd Mayweather is a defensive fighter, Floyd actually done it against Manny Pacquiao when Manny Pacquiao hit him. He went back to the ropes, kept a tight guard and he didn't move it, that guard whatsoever. Manny Pacquiao is throwing loads of punches and then Manny Pacquiao has to back off because he realizes, oh, no punches are getting through. So let me back off and just reset and start again. This is what I think Lennox Lewis should have done here. Just keep the high guard where it is. Let Hassim Ratman throw his heavy shots. Let it come off the gloves. And then you can maneuver off, the, uh, move off the rope and then get back to your jab again. But look what he does. So as I said here, here's the high guard. Perfect. I love it. But now watch. There. Right here, he moves the left arm away from the high guard and leaves himself exposed to that knockout. Boom. So let me go again. Here, right here, he's going back into a straight line, which is not good in the first place. There's the high guard. Keep it in the high guard. Boom. So this this is more clear now. You can see it more clear. He tried to, he, you know, avoid Hassim Ratman's right hand by putting out his left hand. And when you do that on the ropes and you're trying to stop a right hand and you and you put your arm out like that you're asking for trouble because you're against the rope you've got nowhere else to go the impact is going to be more devastating because you're against the ropes the ropes are springy so you know what i mean you've got the spring of the ropes you've got the, the shot of Hassim ratman and then you've got the mistake of leaving out your left hand which is very dangerous and as you can see here as i've left it here don't do that when you're on the rope you know what I mean? 
as I said, unless you're a defensive fighter like Floyd and you, you're a master at defense, then don't try to avoid shots by bringing out your arms like this. It's very, it's, it's very bad, fundamentally bad. And this is what I'm saying. Even at the highest level, someone like Lennox Lewis, who's an undisputed world champion, you still can make mistakes. Does it make you a bad fighter? No, it doesn't. It just means one slip, you know, one lapse of concentration or one bad mistake will put you in trouble. And that's what happened to Lennox Lewis out cold. I want, so now I want to take you to the rematch. Lennox Lewis versus Hassin Ratman 2. And now it's like reverse roles. Now it's Hassin Ratman getting uh, knocked out cold. Now, now watch for the details. I'm going to let it run like I've done before. Watch it. It's coming now. It's coming now. In real time. Bang. Out cold. Now, a bit similar to the first fight. The only difference is Hassin Ratman's in the center of the ring. Okay, so he's... He's not backed up against the ropes. He's not against the ropes. So that was the only difference. But the results are the same. So did you see what I saw? Let's go back. Let's go back. There we go. Obviously, this is old footage. So it's very hard to see. But look, he's done the same thing that Lennox done in the first fight. Which was to try to avoid the right hand by... Trying to bring out his left arm and stop it. And fundamentally, that is not correct. And it's not that Hassim Ratman's a bad fighter. Just like Lennox Lewis won a bad fighter for, for in the first fight. It's just sometimes things like this happen in boxing. Where you try to avoid shots. Uh, and it's that lapse of concentration. It's, you know, maybe it's a bit of panic. I don't know what it is. But you come away from what you're meant to be doing. And that's it right there. Look at that arm out. Ex the chin is exposed. KO. Let me go again. Right there. Look. Trying to stop. Trying to stop the right hand by bringing the left hand out like that. Very dangerous thing to do. It's more dangerous to do that if with your back against the ropes. You know, but this just proves you still can get knocked out if, even if you do it in the center of the ring, which Lennox has proved in this fight here. Bang, right there. There it is again. There it is again. Chin exposed. Left arm, left arm nowhere to be seen. You know, trying to avoid that right hand. Fundamentally wrong. And out he goes. So I play it in real time again. Let's put it back. See, little things I stay see here as I go along. Look at this. Even this, yeah? Right there. Look how Lennox, yeah? So th this is a perfect example, actually, where you would use the left hand, you know, uh, to control a right hand. But the difference is, Lennox has done it at a good range. And if you see where his body is right here, where his chin is, it's so far away that that right hand wouldn't even travel to that chin. So he's used that left, he's stiffened up that left arm to stop that right hand. For Even if the right hand ain't going to come, he's, 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 he's anticipating that it could be thrown. Stiff arm. Stop the right hand. But the difference is. His body is set back. You know. His body is set back. So the distance from the right hand to the chin. Is far greater. Than if he was trying to bring that left hand out. Let's say. If his body was here. It's wrong. And look what it does. It, it stops Hassim Ratman from engaging. And then look what happens. Boom! That's what I'm saying. So there's a difference. What I just showed you there, Lennox Lewis trying to avoid the right hand, but he's at a nice distance. He stiffens at the arm, but 
When he stiffens up the arm, he takes his body away. He takes his body away, so the distance is far greater. So that right hand ain't going to touch the chin. But look now, Hassim Ratman has tried to stiffen up that arm, but look where he is. Look where his body is. Look where his chin is. Exposed. He's doing it at the wrong distance. So I'm not saying... I'm not saying that you can't use that stiff arm to avoid shots. It's, you just got to understand when and where to do it. But a lot to do with boxing is about when and where. You know what I mean? It's just like people that don't like when people fight with their hands down. No, it depends on the, the type of fighter it is. Of course you can fight with your hands down. It's just about understanding when to have them up, when to have them down. Where to have your feet, where not to have your feet at the right times. There's so many things play a big part. Um, so another breakdown from Daily Peralis. See you soon.